Action. That man is not my father. A mother confessing to her son that the man he calls dad is not his real father. I have nothing to do with that man. It's a classic Nollywood storyline. Often derided for overdramatic acting, poor picture and sound quality, and a generally amateurish look, Nollywood is now one of the fastest growing film industries. As far as I'm concerned, he rejected me when I was a kid. And I'm going to reject him now, whether he's dead or alive. And he can rot in hell for all I can. What really gets the audiences to this 15-year-old industry going are the lurid storylines. They enjoy love. They enjoy passion. They enjoy thrillers as well. Because this is violence, you know revolution, you know, uh, marital problems, and so on and so forth. All aspects of human endeavors. I don't want to come back and begin to listen to any complaint. But Nollywood's expansion within and beyond Nigeria's borders is being plagued by the growing problem of DVD piracy. This is Africa's capital center of movie piracy, the Alaba market in Lagos. Of the 30 to 40 Nollywood movies released each week, hundreds of fake DVD copies find themselves here. A pirate DVD with 21 Nollywood films can cost just $1.50 here. An original, about $20. Piracy is a curse. It has affected us tremendously. And it affects the returns. Because one thing that once you release them in Nigeria today, in the next 48 hours, they're all over the world. The problem is that Nollywood is a victim of the business model that has made it a success. An exclusive and aggressive focus on the DVD format, a format easy to pirate on a home computer, making Nigeria's anti-piracy laws almost impossible to enforce. But film financiers say the government lacks the political will to protect and grow the industry. The government have not come to accept that, you know, Nollywood or filmmaking is a very big source of revenue to the government. And it's revenues from Nollywood film sales that pirates are hacking into, leaving filmmakers with less and less money to produce new movies. To counteract the effects of piracy, filmmakers are now looking to film in cinema format and television sales to expand global appeal and generate new income. Yvonne Dege, Al Jazeera, Lagos, Nigeria.